talked about avoiding global variables. Who can tell me a good reason to avoid global variables? What's a good reason to avoid global variables? Yeah. It's pretty easy to change them when you don't mean to, especially in a language like JavaScript. Um, there's some caveats that we haven't even shown yet uh, that we're avoiding because we're using constant let. But there's some, JavaScript does some weird stuff. So it's pretty risky for that reason alone. Another one, hey, what if I make a, a variable called jQuery? And then I actually add jQuery to my project. Why not? It's a variable name. It's a valid variable name. And then I import it. And, well, that's got a global variable named jQuery. If all my variables were wrapped in another function, I wouldn't have to worry about that because there would be no collisions because all of my stuff was scoped somehow and weren't, gl weren't global. So the fact that it conflicted with that other global variable name wouldn't hurt anything. So, for example, bringing in other libraries or... If you have a bunch of global variables in yours and other people pull your code into their projects and they happen to reuse one of your variable names, then you've got a problem. So that's reason alone. Another one that Pranav was kind of alluding to is that it just makes things unpredictable and can introduce a lot of bugs that you don't mean to. And there's just no need. So how can we avoid it? We talked about variable scope a little yesterday. What's one way that I could change this so that I have a, like a really simple change so that I have no global variables? How do I get a new variable scope? So variables are local to something, right? Yeah, go ahead, Zoe. Put curly braces around everything. So yesterday, we talked about the fact that as long as we use constant let instead of var, Every new block, like an if or a for loop, or basically any place that you see in expressions inside curly braces, that creates a new local variable scope. And that includes just a set of curly braces, nothing more to it. So if I put curly braces and I'm going to indent everything, please, by the way, indent things properly. Makes your code a lot easier to read. And remember, if you make your stuff an unreadable mess, the developer whose life you make harder could be a future version of you. So wrap it like that. And we shouldn't have any more global variables. So what if we try to call render color now when this is declared inside this block? Well, we'll see about that. That's a good answer. But there's, there, might be, there might be some exceptions uh, to the way this, this looks, works. Let's try calling render color. Render color blue. It still works. So if you rewind what I said and look at the details, as long as we use const and let, a block creates new variable scope. Vars, do you remember? We, we haven't been using vars. But var always creates that variable local to the enclosing function. So ifs and other kinds of blocks don't create new scopes for vars. And the same goes for function expressions, actually. Um, functions, when you use the function keyword, are created as local to the enclosing function. So you'd have to wrap these in another function for that to work. Now, if instead of render color or function render color, we had said const render color equals function, anonymous function, then that would work. Render color is not defined. Yep. So that's what we'd have to do to, to make that apply to the, uh, whoops, what did I do? Okay. I don't know what I just did. Okay. But person form, by golly, shouldn't be global anymore. What gives? Let's call this my person form. Oops. 
And yeah, can't get to it from here because it's local to this block. So why did I have to change the variable name? This uh, tripped us up this morning. That variable name just happens to be the same as the ID. And for named elements in your HTML, things that you give an ID, JavaScript automatically creates a global variable for those. So just a side effect. Since we, since we happen to name our variable the same thing, that kind of drove me crazy for a second this morning. I forgot that was there. But yeah, that does it. That creates a, a new local scope, wrapping it in the block. So, so we can refer back to this. This is not the final version we're going to use. One second. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and commit this so that if you want to see, see what we did here, you can refer back to it. Wrap everything in a block. Yeah, James. I'd still use let. Um, if you're using ES6, there's no reason in the world to use var anymore. If, you're, if you need to run it in an environment that can't handle ES6, then you have no choice. But if you're in an environment that can handle constant let, I would just never, ever use var. Um, old versions of IE and stuff at this point. Um, and, and some, some uh, ES6 features are supported better than others across browsers. But, um, but constant let, yeah, constant let are pretty, well, yes, but I'll tell you when we're going to do something uh, that has relatively little support. Um, also, Node backends. Uh, Node does support ES6, but a lot of Node projects were written with versions that don't. So, and they can be configured not to. It's kind of optional. So. Um, that's another place. 